Alright, it's finally time to talk about one of the more interesting weapon types in Starfield, the Nova Light. So, the Nova Light is a pistol, and it is a particle beam weapon. Now, particle beam weapons are weird because they get boosted by two perks plus their weapon type perk. Now, the other particle beam weapon of note is the Big Bang, and that is a shotgun. So, essentially, the, the perks that scale these are lasers and particle beams. Both of these scale the damage, and then also pistols in this case, or shotguns in the case of Big Bang. Now, the thing that's crazy about these is that they also inherit the other perks, like the final perks. So, for example, you can get, like, the 5% chance to set dudes on fire. You can get the plus 5 crit. And then pistols obviously get plus 25% crit chance. So you inherit all these perks. The damage scaling applies to both forms of damage. So this these weapons deal physical and energy we or energy damage. And lasers, particle beams, pistols, and in the case of Big Bang, shotgun perks scale both. So if you look at the percentages, it's kind of crazy. You can get up to 50% damage from pistols up to 30% more from lasers. So right now I'm just at lasers too, so I can get another 10% more damage. And then you get another 30% more damage from particle beams. Now let's compare these, this weapon to another weapon. All right, so here we have, so we basically shoot for 92 damage, right? Now let's compare that to the Deadeye that also shoots for 92 damage, but has more expensive, rarer ammo and a slower fire rate. The accuracy is very similar. It's like slightly different. The range is very similar as well. Uh, the mass, a little bit more mass. Now you can upgrade this to have it deal more damage. So if you want to go weapon engineering route, you can get a little bit more damage out of it. Uh, this is on very hard mode. Let's just test this out. Let's check out some of these enemies. Yeah, it's not the most accurate weapon. There is like sway, I've noticed. There's a lot of mines out here. <laughs> There's a lot of mines for no reason. All right, let's just kill this guy, kill this turret. There we go. Let's go for more close ranged. But it's a pretty good weapon. Its ammo is pretty easy to get to. There's certain stores to buy from. So let me show really quick. So let's go to, I think, Vol yeah, Voli. So you go to Voli, you go to Neon. There's a store in Neon that sells these specifically, so you can actually buy them pretty early, and he also sells a lot of ammo for them. So if you ever need ammo, he sells them there, and I'll show it in a minute. Just like, kill some more dudes really quick. Now the headshots are pretty brutal. They deal pretty big damage, and the fire rate's pretty good as well. So it's a general, you know, semi-automatic weapon that deals good damage. I'm over encumbered, aren't I? Let's drop some junk. Oh, I still have, I'm still over encumbered. <laughs> this is such a Bethesda game, dude. Encumbrance. Look at that. And then also, when you get a kill, you get the crit. So plus 25% crits. So if you can find a bunch of enemies in a row, you can kill a weaker enemy to start rolling for crits, in the case of the pistol. Now, the other thing that's cool is with the shotgun, with the Big Bang, you can get the crit chance, and you can get marksmanship on both of them, but the Big Bang shoots, I think, five or six, like, individual lasers, and each one of those can roll for crits. So you can get 5% crit chance from getting Particle Beams 4, and then you can also get plus 15% more crit chance from rank 3 marksmanship, so you can get 20 base crit, and then if you headshot, you know, you're shooting five, at least five shots, like, per per attack it shoots five lasers and each one of those lasers rolls for crits so if you crit headshot at like close range or even medium range if you have like accuracy improvements you can see pretty substantial crit headshots now with the pistol plus 25 crit and then plus five crit that's plus 30 plus 15 more that's 45 crit after getting a kill and then 20 crit at base which is pretty good especially if you're going for headshots now, it doesn't have, like, the best, like, handling, I want to say. Like, I'll just sit here idle. You can kind of see it swaying a bit. So, at, like, long range, it's not the best, but close to medium, it's perfectly fine. 
Alright, let me show the fire rate difference between this and Deadeye. Let's go over here. Alright, I'm gonna shoot as fast as I can. Alright, so that's shooting as fast as humanly possible. Oh, I'm out of healing items. <laughs> I just realized I'm out of med packs. I was like hitting med pack hot key the whole time. I think I have uh, yeah, I have a trauma pack. I was like, why am I not getting healed? <laughs> I'm out of healing items. I just finished the Mantis quest line, so on this character. Oh, you could like peek shoot too. Should be using tactics. All right, so where do you get the? We've demoed the weapon. We've demoed the perks. Let's just load. Where do you get the cool ammo and this weapon early? Because this is probably something you want to do. You can get it immediately. It is going to cost you, though. They're quite expensive. It's not as expensive as buying, like, legendaries. Or not legendaries. Uh, certain uniques from certain vendors. So we'll just demo this. Just go to Neon. Oh, God. <laughs> it will love you fast travel. It's still, <laughs> it's still a thing in this game, dude. They just really don't want you to... They really don't like when you fast travel when you're over encumbered. I feel like the lower gravity should be taken into account for that. But whatever. Bethesda like this, likes their uh, encumbrance system. <laughs> They're in love with it. Even in the futuristic space game, encumbrance prevents you from fast traveling. So you can get this early. Alright, now from here... I think it's this way. It's either this way or that way. Whichever one, yeah, it should be this one. So it's wherever the Ryujin headquarters is. So there's a, there's a specific merchant that sells it. Now there is a rifle in this particle beam business, but it does not deal damage and it just knocks things out, so I don't recommend it. But this is the guy. He sells weapons. He does eventually sell uh, big bangs. These are some of the things I sold him, but you can see here that the, he sells modified ones, so you don't necessarily need to spec into the um, perks to upgrade these in engineering. You can just buy one. So, like, this one already has the focus nozzle, which increases damage. So, if you can get one with the internal mod that increases damage and the focus nozzle, those are the two damage increases that boost its damage up. But right now, it's doing 90 damage a shot, and then with headshots, it's two times damage. And then once you get the crit perk online and then max out these other things... It'll be pretty decent. He does sell a unique one called the Spacer, but it does have Space Adept, so plus 30% damage in space, minus 15% on planet. Arguably most combat with firearms and lasers, like, you know, that isn't in a ship, is going to be on planets. So this actually isn't really that good of one. You're better off just buying one with the Focus Nozzle. But you can see here the cost, you know, 6k. That's not that bad early on. Uh, this is a new character, so I got this pretty early on. And the ammo is this light particle fuse. Now, he usually has a lot of it. In the early levels, he might only have, like, a few, maybe, like, 20 to 30. But if you go around and check different shops, you, sh you can find it in certain places just randomly. And then, like, mid to late game, he should carry a huge amount of this. And then it'll become more common in other vendors as well. But this is the ammo. And it's a little expensive compared to some of the more cheaper things, like 7.77 caseless, that's, which is quite cheap. And shotgun ammo can be cheap too, because it has burst damage. So it's kind of like medium, maybe high cost, maybe upper medium, like medium high cost, we'll say. It's not necessarily high, because it's not like an automatic weapon. Those can run you up pretty high in terms of like cost. But it's a pretty decent weapon, and it can inherit perks from all these different things, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Just wanted to demo the effects. Now, you can get 5% fire, the extra crit chance, the extra crit chance, just from using these three perks here with the Nova Light. And then if you want to use the Big Bang, you would just spec into shotguns instead of pistol cert and run like a coachman or whatever shotgun you want until you can find Nova, uh, a Big Bang. Big Bangs usually generate in stores at around level like 15 to 20 from what I've seen. You might have to be like level 20 before they start showing up. But once they do, it's pretty solid weapon. It uses pretty cheap ammo from what I recall. I think it's the same ammo type as uh, this weapon. It could be the other, like the heavy particle fuse. Uh, but either way, 
pretty good weapons, pretty interesting, pretty fun. So that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. Uh, basically, the rifle sucks, which is unfortunate because it looks cool. And I wish you could just have, like, a damage mod so it can just deal damage like this. But unless, you know, Bethesda does a patch or there's, like, some mod for it, it's uh, stuck in this anti, you know... I'm sorry, this, like, stun mode. <laughs> so it's, like, anti-awake mode. <laughs> All right. Thanks for checking this out. Peace.